Alpha One. Alpha One. Yo, what's up? Good evening. Um, topic for tonight: rejection is a gift. Rejection is a gift. Isn't it a negative thing? Not all the time. Uh, mm-hmm. meron din mga kung baga mabuti nga binubunga yung pagre-reject or pagtanggap ng rejection. Okay, so to kick things off, as always, I'm here with my partner Brian. Bry, how is rejection? a gift. Hindi ba negative pag nireject ka o oh, nireject ako? Hindi ba negative yun or masama yun? Paano siya nagiging positive? Or anong angulo ba na positibo yung rejection? Yan, Brad. Sa akin, ito, take ko dyan. Rejection, more than the fact na yung usual latis na sabi na you can learn from the rejection that's a given and ayun naman yung usual natin na ina-advocate. Learning from everything kahit mga rejection yan. Pero another thing is gift mo dun sa i-reject mo. Uh, meaning, pag, so for example, job interview yan or sa relationship, pag ni-reject mo, halimbawa, hindi mo naman relationship, sabihin natin, hindi mo na in-offer ka ng kasal or tinanong kung gusto mo ba siya or kayo na ba. Tapos hindi mo naman mahal or hindi ka naman attracted sa kanya. Kesa paasahin mo, mas mabuti ng rektahin mo na. Or yun nga, i-reject mo na for that matter. Bakit? Bakit gift yun? Kasi a clear rejection is better than paasa or waiting for something that uh, doesn't exist. So kung wala talaga, hindi mo nakikita yung tao na... Dahil nga, hindi mo mahal. Hindi mo nakikita na kasama mo sa future. Or parang... tatanggapin mo lang yung alok na kasal or tatanggapin mo lang yung alok na maging kayo dahil parang may for whatever reason you're being unfair to yourself kasi alam mo sa sarili mo hindi pa yun and you're being unfair to that person kasi give you have to give that person a chance na makita and makilala niya yung tao na gustong gusto niya and gustong gusto rin siya eh sa sitwasyon nyo ngayon Gusto ka lang, ikaw lang yung one-sided eh. So, in the, like what I usually say, that, like what we usually advocate ni JP, the world is too big. The, there's an abundance of people that would love us for who we really are. So, kung hindi ikaw yun, give that person a chance para maha, mahanap and makilala niya yun. And be straightforward. Sabihin mo na ng rekta kesa papaasahin mo sa ano. And ganun din, give yourself a chance. Kung hindi pa pala siya yung tingin mong best for you, uh, cut it off. Uh, hindi naman, kumbaga, sige, you, if you want to remain friends, nasa inyo yan. Pero, yun nga lang, wala lang paas, paasa, huwag na lang paasa para klaro tayo. Para makamove forward lahat ng parties involved dun sa rejection. Ganun din yan sa job, uh, di ba pansin ninyo, pag halimbawa job interview or may inintay kayong trabaho, Pag sinabi na kagad na tapos na, hindi ka consider for the position, tapos na eh, di ba? Mas parang pwede mo nang kalimutan kagad eh. Kesa yung parang nagpakita ng motibo <laughs> or nagpakita na parang uh, ikaw na yung pipiliin tapos biglang walang walang update for uh, na kahit ano. Hassle yun eh, yung parang hinintay mo lagi, check ka ng check ng email mo or any updates tapos walang ano. So, so mas magu- mas mabuti ng klaro. Klaro. So it's a gift. For, I would consider rejection as a gift kasi makaka-move forward lahat ng party symbol. Take mo chong. Actually, yun, I think that's the biggest thing eh. Uh, may conclusion na kapag tumanggap tayo ng rejection mm-hmm. or nagbigay tayo ng rejection. Uh, I think the hardest thing is waiting for something uncertain. Eh. Yun yung pinakamasakit. Eh. Lalo na kunyari maasa ako sa trabaho. or hindi ka pa sinasagot ang nililigawan mo, yung mga ganong mental stress, uh, ang hirap eh. Um, one thing na naisip ko dyan, especially I think the hardest thing would be ending relationships or ending friendships. Kunyari, meron na kayo irreconcilable differences. Yung, kasi pag nagbigay ka na rejection, like I want a divorce, I want an annulment, ano na yun eh, kumbaga parang hammer eh. Pero is it gonna hurt less pag pinatagal natin or 
parang mas kakainin pa tayo nung situation. Alam mo yun? Yun yung iniisip ko eh. Kung, kung if there was uh, parang meter to measure yung negative effects, I would say through, throughout a longer time, mas hassle or mas masama yung epekto sa yun nung ano, nung putting off yung rejection compared sa isang sakit. Alam mo yun? Uh, kunyari ba namatay ka, gusto mo yung slow and steady o isang bigla? Uh, I guess most of us, isang bigla pipiliin. So, parang ganun din. So, most important thing is, rather than focusing on the rejection, maybe focusing on moving on would be the best. Accepting the pain for what it is, then, okay, mm-hmm. ang sakit, ah, sigaw-sigaw ka, magkangawa ka dyan. After a while, okay, let's brush it off, move on plan on the next steps. Yun. Um, sa akin, isa pa guys, yung ano, whenever tayo yung kailangan magbigay ng rejection, let's make it um, swift and if possible, bearable. Like for example, if you guys are employees, uh, employers rather, if you guys are employers and you need to let go of certain employees, certain people who work for you, uh, Doing it the the most straightforward way would always be the best. Pero ako, personally, kukombuhan mo yun ng gratitude and like tips for improvement. Yun. Uh, we don't want to burn bridges kahit sa mga employee natin. Anybody. Na kahit, kahit sino mga kasalamuhan natin sa buhay, we don't want to burn bridges. Diba? So, yun. Let them off easy. Especially if you're in the position of power. Kumbaga, if you're in the position of authority. Uh, don't beat a person down, pero deliver yung rejection clear and concise. Yun, yun, yung, yun lang yung parang pinaka-tip na may iwan ko. And the more straightforward or the more honest things are, it's going to be better for everybody in the long run. Yung walang taguan. Uh, yun, yun talaga yung belief ko. Eh. That's why I'm really high on integrity. Kasi kung ano yung mm-hmm. totoo, that will always come out. And there will always be a need para lumabas yung totoo. So, let's kumbaga, make it quick. Yun na lang. So, we can move on to the next thing. So, that's it for me. Yun ang take ko dyan, pare. Uh, you wanna add anything else or may gusto ko sabihin sa mga tropa? Sa akin, good na, pre. So, yun, guys. Anong take nyo sa rejection? Anong take nyo dito sa uh, agree ba kayo na rejection is a gift? Agree ba kayo? Yun nga. In this perspective na gift nyo dun sa i-reject nyo and gift din sa'yo dahil nga makamove forward ka. More than the fact na may matututunan ka from that rejection. Agree ba kayo or may, may ba kayong take guys? Share naman sa, share natin sa comments or message nyo kami ni JP or email kayo sa Beyond Alpha Podcast at email. That's it guys. Yung website www.imbnalpha.com socials natin and yung podcast directories pati yung YouTube channel natin. Nakapost na dyan. Nakapost na dyan. And so, yeah. That's it, guys. Thank you. And see you next episode.